if you keep going, uh, if you don't quit, uh, if you can somehow tell your mind uh, uh, that you can make it, if you can somehow tell your mind uh, to keep on running, if you can somehow uh, tell your mind, legs keep moving, uh, I'm here to tell you, uh, you can be at your best yet. Uh, oh, I know you're over 50 or over 60, uh, uh, but somewhere along the line, uh, if you talk to yourself, uh, if you start to build yourself up in the faith, uh, if you listen to the Spirit of God, I'm here to tell you that there's not anything that you can't do, but there's God on your side. That if you trust him, if you believe in him, if you stand firm in him, God will. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Sometimes you got to encourage yourself. Sometimes uh, when life uh, presents its situation to you, sometimes it's trying to knock you down and knock you out. Uh, uh, but you got to encourage yourself uh, knowing that your due season is on the way. In fact, church, listen, you got to remember that we are a due season people. Uh, we are a due season people. I'm going to say it till you get it. Uh, we are a due season people. Uh, we are people who could not get weary in well doing uh, in the context fields of Mississippi. Uh, we are not get weary people uh, uh, when we were out in the back of fields of Georgia and doing the Montgomery Boy uh, uh, listen, uh, we could not get weary in the sit-ins of Greensboro, North Carolina. We couldn't get weary uh, when we marched on Washington in 63. Uh, we couldn't get weary when we were up against Bull Connor and Jim Crow. We couldn't get weary when we were standing on the eve of the Voter Rights Act in 1965. We couldn't get weary uh, when we were standing for Lyndon Johnson and fighting for civil rights. Uh, we couldn't get weary in well-doing because because our future depended on it. Our lives were at stake. Our grandchildren and great-grandchildren were connected to it. We couldn't get weary in well-doing because truth forever on the scaffold, wrong forever on the throne, yet the scaffold sways the future. We couldn't get weary in well-doing because if God be for us, who could be against us? We couldn't get weary in well-doing because our hope was built Oh, nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. What I'm trying to suggest to you is that we are a due season people. We understand that to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. We are a due season people. We know that the time for God's people to reap the harvest will come. It cannot be denied. Uh, as Genesis 8.22 has already told us, as long as seed time and harvest remains and the earth remaineth, there will be seed time and harvest. We will reap just what we sow. 